Hello folks, even in this day and age, some countries and even a few states of the United States punish criminals by giving them the death penalty. A few days before these prisoners on death row are executed, they're allowed to eat one special meal of their own choice. Now most often they'll request basic stuff like pastas, steaks, fried chicken, pizza, and pies. But every now and then, one of them will ask for something really, really weird. So here are 10 of the most bizarre and strange last meal requests by death row prisoners. Let's get it on! Number 10. Dirt Buckle up, folks, we're gonna start this list with a really, really weird one. James Edward Smith did some really terrible things during his lifetime. By his own admission, he took part in six ritualistic killings. Perhaps the most terrifying story he told was of him sacrificing, beheading, and throwing off a one-year-old child from a bridge. But he was arrested in 1983 for shooting and killing Larry Don Rojas while robbing an insurance company. He was convicted of capital murder and got the lethal injection on June 26, 1990. And for his last meal, he asked the officials to bring him Rayakunda dirt, which is closely associated with voodoo rituals. He held the belief that this would mark his body so that his soul could move on and not get stranded on Earth as a ghost. Understandably, his wish wasn't granted and all he got was some yogurt. And he warned the officials that because of this, he'll haunt the prison for around 300 years! His mother repeatedly defended her son and claimed that he had been brainwashed by black magic and voodoo. Number 9. A Single Olive Now, did you ever imagine that someone's last wish would be eating a single olive? Okay, so first, let's give you some background. Back in 1960, Victor Harry Fagior, a drifter from Michigan, visited Dubeck, Iowa. Once he got there, he rented out a room for himself and picked up the yellow pages. He started calling doctors and one Dr. Edward Bartels answered the phone. As soon as the poor doc arrived, Fagior shot him to death. Just a few days later, authorities discovered the dead body in a cornfield and the culprit was caught trying to sell the victim's vehicle. Eventually, the court charged him with murder and gave him the death penalty. When Fagior was asked what he wanted for his special meal, he strangely asked for a single olive with the pit left in. They granted him this wish and when he was hanged on March 15th of 1963, they found the pit in his suit pocket. Apparently, he wanted to be buried with a pit so that an olive tree, which is considered to be a symbol of peace, would grow from his grave. You have to give it to him. He really got creative with it. Number 8. Spaghetti O's Thomas Grasso was sentenced to death for the murder of two people and he was set to receive the lethal injection on March 20th, 1995. And his tremendous final meal request included a double cheeseburger from Burger King, two dozen mussels and clams, a half dozen ribs, strawberries, and two strawberry milkshakes, a pumpkin pie, and finally a can of SpaghettiOs with meatballs. Now, while he got pretty much everything else, the prison cook switched up one thing as he used spaghetti instead of SpaghettiOs. And apparently, Grasso was not happy about this at all. In fact, he was so bothered that his very last words before his execution were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs, I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Yikes, we have to say, that's kind of bone chilling. Number 7. Jolly Ranchers Gerald Lee Mitchell once killed a man when a drug deal went wrong, and then he killed another one over just a necklace. Just a few days before he was supposed to get the lethal injection and meet his maker, he asked for one last meal and guess what? It was just an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers. He was merely 17 when he was executed by the state. Candy is something we associate with young children and this tells us that Mitchell, despite his fearsome demeanor, was still a kid. Maybe if he had gotten help on time, he would have not committed the heinous crimes that he did. Number 6. A Terrorist's Last Wish 
Timothy McVeigh was the dangerous terrorist who was responsible for a bombing incident in Oklahoma City which killed 168 people and injured 680 others. To this day, this remains the deadliest act of domestic terrorism in America. He was convicted by Indiana and received the lethal injection at the age of 33. So what did this terrible human being want before he died? Well, not much. Just two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Number 5. Happy Birthday David Leon Wood spent over 22 years on death row before finally getting executed by lethal injection in 2007. He was originally arrested in 1985 for brutally stabbing a man to death and then stealing his TV. But after reflecting on his crime in prison for so long, he was very regretful of his choices. He repeatedly told the family of the victim that he was very sorry and he really did have remorse. His birthday was around three months after his injection and all he wanted before dying was to celebrate it with his family. So, for his last meal, he received a pizza, a birthday cake, and a visit from his loved ones. Number 4. Die Caffeinated between 1989 and 1990, Aileen Carol Warners murdered seven men. Weirdly enough, while she claimed that this was self-defense, she asked the court to execute her. During her time in prison, she became kind of a celebrity and did multiple interviews where it was apparent that she wasn't really in the best state mentally. She said that she had been abused since she was a young child and repeatedly said that she hated men. She worked as a prostitute and men she murdered were her clients. She spent around 10 years on death row and before her execution, she insisted that she didn't want to eat anything and all she had for her last meal was a good old cup of coffee. Her insane story inspired a film called Monster where Aileen was played by Charlie Theron and guess what? The role won Theron her first Academy Award. Number 3. Veggie Pizza Philip Ray Workman was accused of killing a police officer, Ronald Oliver, while robbing a Wendy's in Memphis. Despite his conviction, many people seemed to believe that he was innocent and he had not killed anyone. When he asked what he wanted as his last meal, he said he didn't want anything for himself and requested the authorities to give a vegetarian pizza to the homeless. But the prison's officials didn't agree to this and Workman flat out refused to eat anything. On the day of his execution, his supporters sent vegetarian pizzas to almost every homeless shelter in Tennessee. Number 2. A Side of Lord of the Rings Next up on our list is the curious case of Ronnie Lee Gardner. Gardner was responsible for the murder of two men in the 1980s and after spending over 20 years in prison, he was executed by a firing squad in Utah on June 18th of 2010. He took full advantage of the last meal wish and asked for a steak, lobster, a delicious apple pie, a bucket of vanilla ice cream, and some 7-Up to wash it all down. But here comes the shocking part. He requested that he wanted to watch Peter Jackson's incredible Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating this meal. Okay, we kinda understand this. Those movies are fantastic. Number 1. The Last Feast and now let's discuss the case of Lawrence Russell Brewer. Brewer was a white supremacist who killed African-American James Byrd by tying him behind a pickup truck and dragging him for three miles. The racist murderer showed absolutely zero remorse for his brutal crime and was executed on September 21st of 2011. Before he died, he requested a massive meal consisting of two steaks, a triple meat bacon cheeseburger, a pizza, some barbecue, some fajitas, and a bowl of fried okra. What's more, for dessert, he asked for a pint of ice cream and peanut butter fudge with nuts. But when the prison officials arranged all of this for Brewer, he refused to eat it and claimed that he wasn't hungry anymore. This obviously angered the prison officials and they ended up abolishing the 87-year-old last meal tradition in Texas. Alright, which of these meals did you find the strangest? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.